This is the Star FX filter from Tippin. It can create multiple points of light streaking out from a single source and has the ability to create some pretty cool effects when filming videos. But today we're gonna bring it into the field and see if it's worth picking up for a videographer. Hey, what's going on? My name is Peter Sorellis. I'm a videographer and editor from Toronto, Canada. I specialize in sports videography. And today we're gonna see if this six point star filter from Tiffin is worth picking up if you are a videographer. Now, full disclosure, Tiffin did send me this filter but no money changed hands. They don't get to see the video before I post it. And I pretty much have the freedom to test it how I want. So I'm just gonna be taking it out into the field and showing you guys exactly what this thing can do. And then you can decide whether or not it's worth potentially picking up. So like I said earlier, the filter can create points of light streaking out from a single central source. This is a six point star filter in the 82 millimeter thread. So this can create a six point star or six points of light streaking out from a source. And you have the ability to, as you can see right here, turn the filter and this adjusts the shape and rotation of the star. So you can dial it in however you want. I wanna take this out to a football game and see how this performs in the field as a sports videographer. But first, let me just show you the effect so you can kind of see like what this does in like a very simple way. So right now, this is me just filming myself, talking head, and I have a quarter pro mist filter on my camera. That's not something that Tiffin sent me. I actually bought two of those before this even happened. But uh, anyways, so I'm gonna screw this on and we're gonna see what the difference with this star filter looks like. So this is me holding my flashlight up at the camera without the star filter on. And this is me holding my flashlight at the camera with the star filter on. And I'm sure you can see the difference with the streaks streaming out from the flashlight on my iPhone. And this is what it looks like when I hold my flashlight up to the camera without the ProMist filter or the star filter on. So you can see when I put all those test images next to each other, what the star filter is actually doing and how it works together with the ProMist versus what the star filter looks like alone. I think that it's a pretty cool effect. Obviously, it's not something that you want to use in every single situation, but if you're looking to get beauty shots, if you're filming an event where this might be applicable, I think it could really make your footage stand out from the crowd when posting on social media. So I am gonna take this to a football game. I wanna see how it'll perform in a sporting event like that. I'm really curious to see if this is going to give us some good results and if it's worth picking up for a videographer, specifically for a sports videographer, since that's how I'm going to be using it. So yeah, without further ado, let's take this thing into the field, see how it performs, and then we'll come back here and look at the footage. Hey, what's going on? So I am at this preseason exhibition game right now for the CFL between the Ticats and the Argos. I'm about to go in. You can probably hear the music playing in the background. And for a little bit, at least during warmups, I'm, I'm here two hours early, I'm gonna be testing out this star filter. We're gonna see if this filter is a cool resource for sports videographers, if maybe it's worth picking up to get some stylized shots and make your content stand out from everybody else on social media. And uh, yeah, that's about it. That's about it. So uh, let's get into the game and maybe we'll talk more a little bit later. I've been on the road. I've been doing shows. Now we ain't steak. Remember sleeping on the floor. We're still at the gas station. When the time's go. In the kitchen, I'm still trying to flip it up the stove. Watch the fake chase. Bring that nobody in all. Watch the take my dog away. It was way too hard to stay composed. Fight to see the light of day. All this blood on my clothes. I was tired every day. Green light, it's time to go. I don't want to live life fast. Don't die too young. Die too young. Cutting my fire. My crash is a good guy. Push it to the 
So we're back and I've had a chance to look at some of the footage that I shot the other night. And I thought that the star filter was really impressive in some cases. When the players were running out of the tunnel and you could see the lights kind of reflecting and shooting little stars off of their helmet, I thought that was a really cool effect. There was also one shot in particular in slow motion where the cheerleaders are standing all in a row and like wiggling their pom-poms and you can just see as the light bounces off the little silver bits in their pom-poms, stars getting like kind of shot all over the place on their pom-poms. And I thought that that was a really cool shot and actually very applicable in that situation when you're filming a beauty shot like that. So I thought that was a perfect use case. I also really liked how the filter performed at night when I was shooting some close-ups of some players. There were a few evening shots that I got where I just thought that the stars bouncing off the player's helmets or appearing in the background made everything look a lot cooler. I also thought that during sunset, it was really cool how I could aim the filter at the sun and it would give me streaks of light that would sometimes cross into my image and make things look more interesting. Even if I wasn't pointing the camera directly at the light source, that was really cool to just have orange light streaks at golden hour coming through my image as I was filming football. Like that's not something that you can really replicate that easily. And I was able to do it really, really simply with this filter. So overall, I think it's a really cool thing to have in your kit. I'm definitely going to be using it going forward. Now, I don't think I talked about price in the earlier thing that I did. So the cost of this filter is $347. And that's obviously not cheap. I don't think that this is something that you should be rushing to pick up if you're like a very beginner filmmaker and just looking to like buy a microphone, buy a nice lens, like those things are a lot more important to creating good videos. But if you're established, you have your equipment and you're looking for ways to make your videos stand out, I totally think that this is a really good way to do it and when used correctly, it can give you some really pleasing results. Anyways, that's going to be all for this video. If you like this video, then please make sure to subscribe to the channel because I post videography and video editing tips and tutorial videos similar to this one on a regular basis. And I would love to have you around for that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or you just want to say, hey, drop it down in the comment section. I'd love to get back to you down there. Anyways, that's going to be all for this one. So until next time, peace.